opening antiphon, I know the one in whom I have believed, and I am sure that he, the just judge, the mighty, will keep safe what is my due until that day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The intention for this morning's Mass is for Juana and Simplicio Peralta. Juana and Simplicio Peralta for the repose of their souls. And also today, we, um, re this is the anniversary of Mario Morales. Mario Morales, may he rest in peace. My beloved brothers and sisters, the church honors today Saint, the conversion of St. Paul. Let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who taught the whole world through the preaching of the blessed Apostle Paul, draw us, we pray, nearer nearer to you through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today. And so make us witnesses to your truth in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. So, still breathing murderous threats against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus, that if he should find any men or women who belonged 
to the way he might bring them back to Jerusalem in chains. On his journey, as he was nearing Damascus, a light from the sky suddenly flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Soul, soul, why are you persecuting me? He said, Who are you, sir? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, for they heard the voice but could see no one. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. For three days he was unable to see, and he neither ate nor drank. There was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias, and the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, he answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight and ask at the house of Judas for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is there praying. And in a vision, he has seen a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him, that he may regain his sight. But Ananias replied, Lord, I have heard from many sources about this man, what evil things he has done to your holy ones in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priest to imprison all who call upon your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for this man is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before Gentiles, kings, and children of Israel. And I will show him what he will he will have to suffer for my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. Laying his hands on him, he said, Soul, my brother, the Lord has sent me. Jesus, who appeared to you in, on the way by which you came, that you may redeem your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, things like scales fell from his eyes, and he regained his sight. He got up and was baptized, and when he had eaten, he recovered his strength. He stayed some days with the disciples in Damascus, and he began at once to proclaim Jesus in the synagogue that he is the Son of God. All who heard him were astounded and said, Is not this the man who in Jerusalem ravaged those who call upon this name and came here expressly to take them back in chains to the chief priest? But Saul grew all the stronger, and confounded the Jews who lived in Damascus, proving that this is the Christ. The word of the Lord. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations, Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. 
For steadfast is his kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Alleluia, alleluia. I choose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go out into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe in my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. The Gospel of the Lord. So Saul was a favored Pharisee, and he received a special delegation to go to the synagogue in Damascus and search for Christians. Um, on the way, shortly out, or a little outside of Damascus, occurred this great scene of a great of a light that surrounded him, and he fell to the ground and could not see. So he was. Uh, led to Damascus, and um, in the meantime, the Holy Spirit told Ananias, a Christian in that city of Damascus, to go and to lay his hands upon Saul. But um, Ananias had heard so many scary things about Saul, and he terrified him. But the Holy Spirit said, no, um, do not fear uh, for I have chosen him to go out and to be the bearer of the gospel to all the nations. And so uh, Ananias obediently went and he uh, told Saul um, uh, that in, he laid his hands upon him and Saul regained his sight and stayed with that community in Damascus for uh, approximately three years. He also got to speak with uh, Peter, uh, who, he, who he calls Cephas, Kef, and also to James. Um, so we honor uh, this great event. S Saul's life was changed, and he went after that by the, the Greek version of the same name. The Greek version is what we know, Paul. And so as St. Paul, he uh, suffered greatly, but with every suffering, he endured it joyfully. He, you know, it is not I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Uh, he had no problem with accepting any hardship, shipwreck, uh, stoning, beatings, uh, arrest, imprisonment, and he, uh, he experienced all of those things uh, so that uh, he might glorify Jesus in his suffering. So we honor uh, St. Paul, who uh, eventually was brought to Rome because he was a Roman citizen, and he was uh, condemned to die and was um, uh, beheaded 
uh, under uh, the Roman emperor. So let us stand and let us pray. Recog See, here we go. May the light of Christ transform all who live in darkness and selfishness of sin, we pray to the Lord. May the light of Christ help to break down greed and destruction which divides and create instead a climate of forgiveness and reconciliation in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Uh, in through, uh, with St. Paul, we ask that the love of Christ, the love of Christ may create new bonds um, among peoples of the world and that the forgiveness of Jesus may heal wounds of past violence and divisions, we pray to the Lord. And may the joy of Christ touch the lives of those saddened by uh, oppression, war, and famine, and the greed of all of the, uh, of in the world, we pray to the Lord. And we pray for those who are suffering from the COVID uh, coronavirus. We pray for all of our parishioners in the hospital. We want to especially pray for uh, Ruby Devera and for her being strengthened um, and for her family. And uh, we pray for other members of our parish who are experiencing such um, uh, uh, the, the disease as well. We pray to the Lord. And the intention for this Holy Mass for Juana and Simplicio Peralta. And we also um, want to remember Mario Morales on the anniversary of his death. We pray to the Lord. And for all our private needs and prayers, which we mention now in silence. For these needs known to God alone, we pray to the Lord. Father, in this Holy Eucharist, we are gathered and unite and united through the power of your Spirit and your Word. May this Word of life be proclaimed among all peoples. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, beloved brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
as we celebrate these divine mysteries, O Lord our God, may the Spirit fill us with the light, the light of faith with which St. Paul was constantly enlightened for the spreading of your gospel through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds, to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with the angels and archangels and all the hosts and powers of heaven, without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate, the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Juana and Simplicio Peralta, for the repose of their souls, and for the family of Mario Morales, who lift him up to you, dear God and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him, with him, and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always and to you and to all of those watching on live stream from their homes, let us offer one another the sign of the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, since I cannot at this moment receive you sac, come at least spiritually into my heart. Spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there. and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Live by faith. I live by faith in the Son of God, who has loved me and given himself up for me.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which blessed, uh, the blessed apostle St. Paul burned ardently as he bore his concern for all the churches through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. The peace and blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend upon you and remain with you forever. Go in peace.